Hi guys and welcome to Python tutorial of a multiplication timetable. So this is how the finished product look like. So what I'm going to do now is let's start a new project entirely. So I'm going to exit out and let's click on exit and start a new product entirely. So I'm going to start by first of all printing the following so I'm going to enter some tabs in there so let's say backspace 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 so that is how you get your tabs sorted so I'm going to just type in the multiplication table and I'm going to also enter new line that's how you enter new line backspace and end so underneath here I'm going to also enter my name so I will ask the system to print out my name so let's add one more backspace and just enter Captain Paul Owen there and right underneath let's start by saying for I in the range of I'm going to make that 1 to 13. So 1 to 13 will generate 1 to 12 for me. So if I decide to print I now, I'll show you what I will end up with. Let's say print I and let's say to the end of and enter a backspace. There. If I decide to print this out now, check out what's going to happen. But first of all, we must save this save. I'm just going to call that pi timetable. Save that and let's run it. Click on run. And there we go. That is what you get. I get 1 to 12. And you can see my details in there. So here, let's enter tutorial here there we go I'm gonna run it again I just want to see how the title will look like that's good all right then now the next thing we want to do now is since we've been able to generate 1 to 12 okay I now want the system to generate a vertical value of 1 to 12 as well but I would like to print let's ask it to print the following line for me so let's get that out of the indentation and the line come right down here there we go and at the end I'm going to enter to new line there guys that is my defined line I'm just going to enter print in here to give me just a space in between the first one. Now, underneath here, I will now create my. Let's come in here, enter my vertical loop. So I'm going to call that J. And J will be 1 to 13 as well. I'm also going to add the one that will. Let's enter another for loop. I can call this one maybe Q. Yeah, enter Q for that. And I will then print out both of them. So let's grab hold of print. So what I want the system to actually do is to print out J, multiply that by Q, comma and up to the end and make sure we have a tab in between as well there we go and right underneath here I'm going to enter new line for every printer out and that is it so the indentation as you can see is very important you get it right so I'm going to run it now let's see how that's going to look like run there and check that out guys let's increase this font see 
you see that guys and that is how you create your own multiplication timetable in Python just before I go I'm going to show you guys the lines of code again and with that I'm going to call it the end of this short and beautiful tutorial and please do subscribe to this my second channel I'm trying hard to get it up to 100,000 but with your help I know I will get there thanks for your support guys you all have a nice day now and bye for now